Sadly, you just can't keep up with every game that comes out, and inevitably you're going to miss out on a release that you probably would have really enjoyed, but for whatever reason you didn't get to play because too many games were out at that time, or things were happening in your life where you just did not get a chance to. And I know a lot of people out there have their opinions on remasters, there's too many of them, but I come of the mind that I think they're great because there are a lot of these experiences that perhaps would have been lost to time, but now I get to enjoy, and that's definitely the case here with the Dalek Entertainment's game originally released in 2008, Edna and Harvey The Breakout. So this is by no means a lazy remaster or anniversary celebration at all. In fact, they've done an excellent job here upgrading the visual style of the game. It looks fantastic. I played it in 4K. I'm fortunate to have a really good PC that can do that. And this game just pops with vibrancy, beauty. The colors are outstanding. The characters really have all these unique personalities and things to love about them that really come out with the higher resolution. And I think that it looks fantastic all these years later. Looks better than it ever did before. So if you are like me and missed out on the original release, Edna and Harvey is a point-and-click adventure, much like a Maniac Mansion or a Full Throttle, that really harkens back to the golden age of this genre. You have a few different options here, such as looking or grabbing, and you'll need to find the right combinations on certain characters or certain things in the settings that will help you solve the puzzles to progress through breaking out of this asylum which Edna finds herself trapped in. Edna unfortunately seems to have had a memory wipe done to her, actually it seems like a few times, so she doesn't fully understand why or how she got into this situation, and her best friend is this little stuffed rabbit at her side named Harvey, who offers hilarious commentary, but also some insight and some intrigue to the overall storyline. I absolutely love all of the different bizarre characters that you'll come across throughout this very long adventure actually, especially for this style of game. They were not normally known to be long games, but Edna and Harvey here can clock in up to 20 hours, shorter or longer depending on how good you are at the puzzles, but like this genre always has been, some of these puzzles are going to be a little bit on the obscure side, very difficult to figure out, and you may find yourself dipping into a strategy guide here or there because it is obscure in the same way say a full throttle was all those years ago. In this update they've actually included controller support as well, which I personally was not a big fan of, though the option is nice, it's a little bit clunky, it doesn't work quite as well as just using the simple mouse controls where you can scroll through the items much easier and click on where you want to go much easier. However, I will say one thing that is good about the control scheme is that it points out every little thing that is interactive on a certain room that you are in, so that's quite helpful. The soundtrack and voice acting across the board is fantastic. All of these characters have excellent personality to them. You'll want to go through all the dialogue choices just to hear all of the funny reactions and different interactions that Edna will have with these characters. And the soundtrack is really fun actually, with some nice piano melodies scattered amongst it and some quirky strings and different orchestrations that supply the setting that you find yourself in with a quirky and upbeat set of musical tracks. Something I really like about this game is its willingness to explore a topic that makes a lot of people uncomfortable, but this game actually was doing it all the way back in 2008, and they do it with a lot of respect, and I think there's a lesson to be learned with Edna and Harvey in that maybe sometimes people are misunderstood, or they're entreated way too far differently from everybody else when all they really want to do is be loved and accepted by someone. And so for me, Edna in particular is a character that I kind of related to in a silly way, and I really enjoyed her quite a bit. So as I mentioned, if this was a game that you missed out on way back in 2008 now, I fully recommend checking it out, especially if you're a fan of point-and-click adventures. There's so much charm, there's so much personality, it's a beautifully well put together package with some nice new features, like being able to go back to the original visuals. Controller option is there, even though I wasn't a fan of it. It is something that some people might end up enjoying if they are really adverse against using a mouse, which I was, I understand, I was that way for a long time. Edna and Harvey the Breakout is ultimately a game that does not feel out of place for being an older release, and I can't recommend it enough. There's so much charm to it that you have to check this out if you love this genre. For more on Edna and Harvey the Breakout, and to check out some of our great podcast content, head over to MediaMoogle.net, and if you enjoyed our video content, please do hit the subscribe button below.